All right, everybody, full case of Bowman Jumbo. Here we go. Uh, this is Pick Your Teams number five, sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Joe's up on the top screen opening the case. And here's what's the teams. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Recap at the end of the video. So scroll ahead if you're watching on recording and you don't want to watch the full video. So this is a jumbo case, takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and then uh, and next will be another jumbo case, random teams. Then we have to do a one pack break of uh, Bowman, then two Bowman mixers, that'll probably be it. See what where we're at. <clears throat> the sun will be up by the time we're still <laughs> going. You can see the sun pouring in, that's gonna be awesome. The sunrise in California too. Over the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Coast Highway in Hermosa Beach. It could be Steven. Definitely could be. Where we're doing random pack breaks of Bowman, 2020 Bowman and 2026 for like $250 a pack. If Dominguez turns out to uh, to be a stud, or Bobby Witt maybe. Who's number one overall pick? Uh, Rushman. That's right, Adley Rushman. Yeah. And then number two was, was Bobby was Witt. Witt. Yeah. Still crazy. Kyler Murray was like what the seventh pick, tenth pick. Was that the? the no, no, that was the year before, I think. Are you yeah. sure? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. 2018 draft. 2018 to Oklahoma. Well, no, because then he he didn't declare until he was done with football. It was the offseason of 2019. Right, because everyone's like, Where are you, what are you going to... I think so. No. no. I don't know. No, no, the A's drafted him. Then he said... The A's drafted him and said, you can do a year of college. You can do a year of college football. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then you can start your minor league career. So then it. he played the 2018-2019 collegiate season. Right. And then in the offseason of 2019, declared for the draft. Right. But yeah. it was like still wishy-wash or what he wanted right. to do. Because he, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so he was drafted in the 2018, yeah. All right, first auto is a speckle, number 299, Xavier Edwards for the Padres. I think he probably gave like signing bonus money back and stuff like that. Let's go out to Jeffrey Goldberg, yeah. Although he like didn't want to or something. Something there like was that. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> he tried to keep it. Yeah. Cause I think he's he like, gonna, dude, just give it back. You're yeah, because I think he was trying to pretend like, oh, but if I do come back, yeah, I mean, you own my rights. Yeah, you have my rights anyway, so let me just keep the money for you in exchange for you having my rights. Right. Remember, only Bobby Witt paper, Jason Dominguez paper, and Robert Passon ship. No other paper base ship. JJ Blade number to 125. Aqua. And all chrome cards ship, no matter what. Even non first Bowman chrome cards. Kyle Murray would have gotten into an A's uniform though and get a baseball card. You know? Would have been kind of cool, yeah. Because Manziel has one, right? Yeah, I think they could still technically make one, but the A's would probably not like it. Right. I'm sure the A's don't like him. Well, because I think Manziel actually had a decent relationship with the Padres. Well, and he was the last round pick. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like yeah. it was like a gimmick pick. Yeah, it was, yeah. Like because he was already in the NFL. I right, think. right, 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 right. There's Omar Estevez. Number uh, Russell Wilson. Sorry, base auto. I think he was a gimmick pick too. Oh, okay. I want to say, maybe not. Yeah, uh, I guess you're Dodgers right. Dodgers is and Robert spent a first round pick on. They spent like a top ten pick. Yeah, you know? yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. I guess I guess they weren't counting on winning the high, win, him winning the Heisman Trophy. No. And going like number one. Yeah. There's Dominguez paper. The Yankees is Megan again in this one. Break five. Right. So let's say his season was a bust, and everyone says there's no way you're going to be. Like this small quarterback who didn't have a good season yeah. under a great quarterback coach, right? 
then you start to fall. You're out of the first round for sure. And you already guaranteed your baseball. You're probably career. yeah. You're probably end up. But you might not make money in your baseball career for a few years down the road. But you end up dropping the fifth round, right? Like if you're Kyler Murray at that point. Yeah. So then he says, "Screw it," and I go, I'm going to go with baseball. And then he plays. Then he starts the minor leagues with in 2019 instead. That's the that's the big what if story right there. Especially what position was he playing? Pitcher. Baseball? I don't know. No, I think he was like third base or something. He was a positional player. I wish there could still be a dual sport athlete. Would never happen again. I don't think so, right? Too much no, money. Not like Deion Sanders. Too Way too much money. money. Unless it's like somewhere like the Bulls and White Sox where it's owned by the same owner, right. maybe. Maybe that. But even that would be tough. <clears throat> Doesn't uh, there's a few other owners who own multiple sports teams, right? Sure they What's that? What other uh, owners own multiple sports teams, like in the same city? You know? In the same city? Yeah. Christian Pache, the two fifty. I think. I, I want to say that some leagues. Okay, so I know the NFL doesn't Cronky, allow that. Yeah, Cronky oh. can't own. Another professional sports franchise. Interesting. But he owns the Nuggets, but it's under like his wife's name and his kids the president. I think he might own the Abs too, Colorado Avalanche. But it's also under under like another family member's name. Okay, but it's not the same city. But it's not yet, not the same. Keone Cavaco to four ninety nine. So it might be Jerry Krauss who owns the Avalanche. You know, and Bulls. Nuggets Avalanche. Uh, We donate all the paper base. We either sell it in our shop. And donate the proceeds. Like in our grand opening, we did 10 cent card day, and all the money went to charity. But we are, we have like probably a million cards right now. <clears throat> Just sitting, waiting to be sold for charity. Yeah, maybe Reinsdorf is probably one of the last guys to own two teams. Oh, yeah, Jerry Reinsdorf, I meant. Shad Khan, he doesn't own a team of Jacks. There's another pro sports team. Yeah, we're talking about owners. Same, same city. Same city, two major sports franchises. There's a Tarek Skubal Auto for the Tigers, Mike Samich. I mean, I guess maybe you don't consider MLS. Because, but doesn't Arthur Blank own Falcons and? Yeah, but would there ever be a dual player in one of those? No, that's true. Yeah, it'd no. be hard, right? <clears throat> I think the only way a dual sports team, a dual sports player, could work would be the same city because then the travel would be a little better. They could play at like home games only. Right. I don't think it'll ever happen, but if it did happen, I would imagine it would have to be same owner and would same city. That, yeah. But that that'd be crazy because you'd have to be good enough where the team would be like okay. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And the GM of both teams agree right. and stuff. And I think it would have to be like a position like safety or, you know, like a Deion, you know, like what a corner <laughs> position. Mm -hmm. You can't be a quarterback and do it. Doesn't it. get hit a lot. Yeah. I just want to take up another box and I'll just open up the rest. Saints and Pelicans owner may be connected in some way. Oh, yeah. is it? I have no idea who owns the Saints. It was some dude and then he passed away and now his wife runs it. But they might have Pelicans too, actually. At the uh, Smoothie King Center yep. or Arena? Steven Punk says, do you hear what the NBA wants to do? Put every team into a tournament and fight for the championship? Yeah, I've heard that. I thought that was the hockey idea. I don't know. I think I think they're throwing out every option right now. And probably just a lot of them are rumors. Yeah, I mean, there's really no... There's no plan set. But I'd imagine if they want to get started by July, that it would be just a... A resume of the NBA season. Maybe shortened games, like shortened uh, season. 
regular season. Kind of similar to what Steven's saying. I did hear that it would be, instead they canceled the last like 15, 20 games of the regular season. And right. only the teams that were mathematically involved should play. play. So the, like, the Hawks and that would happen. The Hawks and like yeah, the sure. Pelicans wouldn't play or something. Like teams without playoffs. So like the no, Hawks. I think Pelicans still had a mathematical shot. So like Hawks and they, like... But uh, they would be thrown to like a one and done tournament. The Hawks and Knicks wouldn't play. Correct, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Paul Allen family owns the Blazers and the Seahawks. That's pretty close, I guess. Right? Portland and Seattle. Really? I didn't know that. So maybe a player could play for the Seattle Mariners and the Portland Trail Blazers. Or no, the Seattle Seahawks and the Portland Trail Blazers. No, that's both winter sports. Yeah. See? It's so hard. I mean, you'd have to. That's why you've got to. It only be baseball, a summer sport. All those multi-sport yeah, athletes sport, yeah. that played at the same time are just like so crazy to think about. I mean, basketball and baseball is super interesting, but I don't think anyone's ever done that. I guess I didn't really think about it, but like in the last dance documentary, they were saying you know, Jordan had to rebuild his body into a baseball body. It's a completely different yeah, thing. And then rebuild it back into a basketball body. That's why I like Deion Sanders. Completely like, different muscle set, yeah. Bo Jackson, did he, he play at the same time? I don't think so, right? Mm -hmm. Like in the same calendar year? I think so. I think he was doing Raiders and Royals. It but there, then his Raiders career was only, only lasted like a few seasons. A few seasons, right? Because right, he got bland. Then he, then he played like baseball for another 10 years. Yeah. Aaron Ashby, Refractor Auto. That's going out to the Brew Crew. John S., there you go. So it's really those two guys will be the last. And, like, of course, there's, like, Jim Thorpe and stuff. Right. But in, in, in this day and age, and there's just too much money involved. They're like, yeah, there's way too much why money. Why would we pay, you know, what, what are, if you get hurt, like, there? Yeah, the what are top safeties stuff? getting paid? You know what I mean? Mackenzie like, Gore to 250. Maybe. It doesn't make sense for the player or the owner. Right, yeah. And then why, why would the player sacrifice two contracts? Yeah. You know? Getting injured in one, especially when one he might make a lot more money. Because like, what was Dion making? I mean, guys, Adley. But it's just, was that a thirty for thirty where, like, it's him going on the helicopter and then in the same day? I think um, it was a going, thirty for thirty. That yeah. was a good one. It, it was, was like twenty four hours yeah. of prime time or something yeah. like that. That's awesome. But yeah, I didn't read. I mean, I was a little young for it, but I didn't realize. I remember it happening. I didn't realize how much. Like, Thought like S, stuff, yeah. was, like he got for from the Braves for that because I think there were some playoff implications in there too. And he was still playing for the Falcons. Something like that, and I, I, I think, I think there the was Falcons a little were out of playoff contention, maybe or something. I forget what it was, but I think I have to rewatch it. But I think like the Braves organization, and they deny this, but made it a lot more difficult than it could have been, and then made Dion look like a bad guy for like abandoning his team, his team. And, and blah blah blah. blah. When in fact Dion was saying like, "Hey, I could do both things. There was no issue." Right. And it's not like he was like the main offensive threat for the Braves anyway. Right. He's a great outfielder, but you know, and a good hitter, but he was just like a top of the order speed guy, you know, and slapping the ball around like you. So I think there was a little controversy there from With what that, I remember. There's JJ Blade, Auto Marlins. That's Mitch. Saying like, oh no, you can totally do it. We, like Braves are like, we, we told him we could totally do it. No big deal. Jason O says uh, Drew Henson was gonna try it, but the Yankees gave him huge money specifically not to play football. Right. See, they don't want they don't want that anymore. Yeah. Bobby Witt. What was what was Dion's salary for the Braves and the? Yeah, it had to football. be it had to be someone not good enough to be able to risk it. Like the owner says, okay, you can. It's just like a gimmick, you know. Like, it'll get a lot of popular... But you know, kind of good enough for both teams are like... But kind of good enough to warrant them signing and playing minutes. Hidden Finds, Chris Paddock. Is this the first one of these we've hit? I don't think I've seen that answer. I've only seen one Hidden Finds. Okay. That's sleeved. Chris Paddock. There's a Dominguez paper. I heard there's a new Lance Armstrong 30 for 30 coming out too. I hear he gets oh, yeah, destroyed. Oh yeah, on ESPN. What, this is not a good good one for him? No. 
Well, I mean, I, I mean, I think it just continues to show how much of a d bag he is. Yeah. Like just, just a, a lying. Like he, he threw so many people Premier's under tomorrow. the bus. He threw so many people under the bus. Yeah. He never apologized. Sounds to be a good one. He, huh? I, th- I think, and everyone sees his lift strong shit, and they're just like, oh yeah, we're a wonderful guy, but. And he and he has publicly said like, oh, why does A Rod get like a pass? Yeah. But like, I don't know. A Rod did a lot to rehabilitate his right. brand. You know, I mean, he apologized. He took the punishment. He Suspension, kept his mouth yeah. shut. Adam know. Hill, base auto for the Brew Crew. That's another one for John Samuelson. Who's the old USC quarterback? John David Booty? I don't know who Josh Booty is. I remember John David Booty. Right? He was a big name. Too bad USC quarterbacks never pan out, Sean. In the pros, that is. Oh, it is. is oh, they are related? Okay. Man, the SK Wyverns. I don't even know what a Wyvern is, but they're 2 and 13. That's a real mythical creature, I think. Man, that's why. They're, they're named after a fake character. That's why they're losing. The, yeah, I've seen. I don't think I've gone through this. I've seen a trailer for the Sosa McGuire. It looks pretty good. I think their cards are already heating up. A lot of people, you know, saw what the, the 90s Bulls cards went up in value. And now the uh, McGuire Sosa cards are going up, I think. But that should be a good one. I think that comes out in June. A summer one, I think it is. All right, so Deion Sanders basically made a few million dollars a year on average in his baseball career over, like, Ten seasons. And what was the average, you think, in that day? Number to 150, Cannon Smith. He made over the average, definitely, right? Pro- probably. Making yeah. $3 million a year in the 90s. Oh, yeah, then he definitely did, yeah. You know, yeah. But the average was one of the highest paid players, you know what I mean? Right. So, like, he's not making... I mean, now, but nowadays, a player like Deion Sanders... Rookie of the Year favorite to Kino. You know, who has... Well, average 263. Yeah. Batting average, only 10 home runs, but he's giving you How many an average bases? of like 47 stolen bases a year. Yeah. If yeah. you do the 162 game average. That's pretty good, yeah. So if you're getting that, I mean, maybe he gets he gets like Billy Hamilton money right now. Right. Which is more than what Dion may have made his entire career. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? Like, like, Billy Hamilton probably makes a... See? Now I'm down this rabbit hole. <laughs> now you're going to think of another player. I don't so, know, Sean, if it's newspaper stuff, too. So, Deion Sanders, about $13 million in his entire baseball career. My dad has a lot of paper stuff. That's his collection. Um, I have no idea, Steven. It's probably not old enough. Oh, okay, well, Billy Hamilton made $14 million in his career. That's pretty good. It's actually, I mean, that's pretty good for Dion. Actually. He has, what, 200? Like, he's terrible, huh? He's just a stolen base guy. Yeah. He, his, his like, average in OPS just, like, OBP dropped significantly. Like, if he was able to get on base, like, consistently, he'd be one of the most valuable players in baseball. To, all he needs to do is bat, like, 250. And he'd be, like, a, like a, he'd, a he'd, star. He'd be a star. He'd be a star. Because with the amount of at-bats he'd get hitting 250... And stolen bases and all and that. And he walked just a little bit more. I mean, he'd have, like... He never had more than 59 stolen bases, and that's in 2017. That's pretty recent. You know? Oh, sorry, Brian Peoples. I just saw your, your thing. In an era where... He's not stealing bases. He hit 247 that year. He's had 59 stolen bases. 247. Imagine if it was 260. Yeah. He'd have 200 hits. He'd have 80 stolen bases. He just, can't, yeah. You know, like it would be ridiculous. He struck out 133 times that year to walk only 44 times. Still had 59 stolen bases. 
That's the thing crazy. About it. If you switch all those numbers a little bit, could he get to hundred stolen bases? It's hundred stolen bases, maybe. First time since like probably Ricky. Ricky Henderson, probably right. Or D Gordon never had it close, right? No, D Gordon, no, not even close. Juan Pierre. Uh, there's Austin Beck to 125. Juan Pierre's in the same boat. He just didn't get on base Same enough. thing with Juan Pierre, yeah. No, D. Gordon had a max of 64. That's solid. Last season with the Dodgers, Royds, and 60 in 2017 with the Marlins. But he hit 308 that year. Well, that's steroids. And then he got popped. I guess that doesn't make you faster, probably, though. No, but it keeps you healthier. Yeah, that's true. You know, when Especially you're for smaller, bases, yeah, smaller, smaller guys. You're using your legs all the time. Maybe that sore hamstring doesn't get a sore anymore. You just feel an extra base or two. Dominguez paper? That's why the pitchers do it, too. It's just like, it's not about strength, it's about just recovery. Just healthy. Yeah. Yeah, this is live uh, live baseball here. Number 150, Dylan Carlson. I like the, uh, the announcer with just straight up Hawaiian shirt. Not caring. Juan Pierre at 32 years old in 2010. With the White Sox, 68 stolen bases. Oh, God. Hit How two, old was he? 32. Hit 275. So what about his prime? What was bases. his best season? That's it. That was his best oh, season. that was his best season. Before that, he had 64 with the Dodgers in 07. He bounced around. So, how many yeah, teams did he play for? 65 with Florida. Eight or nine? No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six teams he played for. A few years with Colorado, a few years with Florida, You're done? a year with the Cubs, a few years with the Dodgers, a couple years with the White Sox, and then a, one year with the Phillies, and the next year with the Marlins. And then he was I like done. players who just like the last like five five years are with five different teams. Yeah. Robert Pawson. Yeah, 100 stolen bases is crazy, but yeah, like if someone like Billy Hamilton was able to... got a to ring, though, with, the, with that old Marlins team. Yeah, that's right, 2000-something. Gus Varland auto for the ace. That's going out to Aaron 2003, he's a World Series champ. That's why Ricky Henderson, one of the greatest, because he was able to do it all. There's Bobby Witt. Get on base. Get hits, get stolen bases. All right, last guy, last guy to get a hundred stolen bases. Yeah, hundred stolen bases. It wasn't Ricky Henderson. No. What year was it? Nineteen eighty-seven. Oh, I can't get National it. National League. There's Andrew Vaughn auto, nice for the White Sox. That's Jeremy Tillman. National League, nineteen eighty-seven. Anyone else in the chat? I'm looking at the chat right now. No. Anybody in the chat can guess it without googling it. Nineteen eighty-seven. This player had 100 stolen bases. 109 to be 109. Specific, and was the last player to have last player to triple have triple digit home runs. Or Brian people says digit. Vince Vince Coleman. Ding ding ding. Ooh, Brian got it. Vince Coleman. I would have never guessed that in a million years. Yeah, three years in a row. Of 100 stolen bases. 85, 86, 87, 110 and 85, 107 and 86, and 109 in 87. Ooh, I think this is a. A uh, big one. Atomic Auto to 100. Gerard Encarnacion for the Marlins. So Atomic are sharp. I think he's one of the, the bigger names in this. That's uh, for Mitch. There you go, Mitch. I want to say Gerard is. Nice. What team did he play for? The Rockies? Vince Coleman? Yeah. I remember him as a Cardinal. So those stolen bases were all his Cardinals years. Cardinals? I don't even... I don't know. Heard his name, but I couldn't tell you anything else about him. That's kind of, that, that means he's sort of underrated, I guess. Will you ever see it? It's like, will you ever see a Triple Crown again? There's Bo Bichette. Under stolen bases? No. Not, not, you unless, don't think... not unless the game shifts back again to like small ball. Which it might. Dominguez paper. Here's something wild. In 1998, 39-year-old Ricky Henderson stole 66 bases. How many teams did he play for? A lot. A lot, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let me see if six, I can name them. Seven, eight, nine. Nine teams. Let me see if I can name them. Right. So he played for the Yankees and Mets. Uh, okay, check, check. Uh, the Padres. 
Yankees and Mets. Check. Well, should we get the obvious one out of the way? Oakland. Yeah, A's. So Oakland, 14 seasons. Yankees, five years. Padres, three years. Okay. Mets, three years. And now the next one, two, three, four, five teams are all one season. Okay, he played for... I'll, I'll be impressed if we get all five. Shoot, now I'm, I'm trying to think. Blue Jays? Uh, yes, one season. Okay. That was in... I don't even know when that was in his career. I have to be late. Blue Jays, um... I'm trying to think of the cards he's been on. Um, Padres already got Giants? No. Um, you got the division right, though. Diamondbacks? No, Dodgers. Yep, one season with the Dodgers, last year of his career. Okay. You got two more. And both... Uh, both. Actually, these two teams are in the same division, too. Tampa? No. Boston? No. West Coast. West Coast team. Oh, yeah, Boston. Sorry, you got... Boston yeah, one? Yeah, that's one year. That was also second to last year of his career. To 499, Ethan Hankins. Um... Two more one-season teams, both AL West. Angels? Mm-hmm. And uh, Mariners. Yep. Wow. He's played for... Has he played for every division? I don't think so. There's That'd no, be cool. There's no central teams on there. That'd be awesome. If it's, all actually, it's all actually coasts. Yeah, he stuck. He stuck to the same. T- yep. Like he o- wanted a. He wanted yeah. revenge on his former teams. <laughs> Oakland, L.A., San Diego, Anaheim, Seattle, and then East Coast was New York. Even or like New York Mets, Boston. And or like it was Toronto. like the opposing GMs were like, "Man, Ricky still got it. Let's sign him next season." <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a lot of that. Yeah. It's crazy to me that even as recently as 2009, Jacoby Ellsbury had 70 stolen bases. Yeah, he signed a monster deal. Monster. One year got 68 of the last next year. The last time someone had 60, D. Gordon in 2017. <clears throat> Jonathan Villar had 62 stolen bases in 2016. What? Yeah. I didn't know he was a speed guy. There's a couple of D. Gordon, 58-64. I mean, the totals are now like high 40s, but... So maybe it could happen. I don't know. I don't know. What was he? A race at 78 home stolen bases one year. 2007. Yeah, if they let Mike Trout steal bases still, that'd be cool. Uh, there's Cannon Smith to 150. If they let Mike Trout run, he could he could he could be the first 50-50 guy. Yeah, I think so. At least he in the next couple of years he could have. But he's he's worth too much. So. He's worth way too much. You don't want him running around. Did LaTroy Hawkins, yeah. All those relievers. LaTroy Hawkins was a reliever, right? He played for a ton of teams. Fernando Rodney, too. Fernando Rodney might might have played, and he's still playing, right? Oh, for like who's the... Who's 15 the, teams? Someone has the record for... There's Jared Kalenic to 50? Most teams played for, or appeared for. Fernando Rodney? No, it was. it's like Edwin Jackson, I think. Uh, another one is Jamie Moyer. He played for a lot of teams. Jamie Moyer was the oldest baseball player, right? I think. Mm-hmm. How old was he? Like 44? 46? 48? Jamie Moyer played until... Well, he... I guess maybe... Blue injured. Auto for the Nationals. Bren Bray, he played ben Bray Mayer. Every year from... 23 to 28. Then there was a couple years off. Maybe injury. 30 to 47... Consistently, every year, banging out like 25 to 30 starts a and year. And then he played when he was 50? And then stopped at 47, then played at 49. He made 10 starts with the Rockies. Uh, ben Bramer for the Nationals to 150. Darby. Edwin Jackson, 14 teams, Sean says. And he averaged like 30 starts. Jamie Moyer. Through yeah, he's like a stud, mid-30s man. To the you, late sh- you, you sign him, he's going he's gonna to be there. He's, he's going to be there. He's going to eat innings for you. He wasn't the greatest, but he, he, would, he, he had some would, solid seasons. Man. Cabrian Hayes to 50. Gold Shimmer for the Pirates. That's going out from to From 40 to 43, Travis. 200 innings, 200 innings, 211 innings. 
And he's one of the only players who's played in four decades, I think, right? I think so, yeah. 80s, 86, 90s, 2000s, 2010s. 90s, 2000, 2010s, yep. I mean, he's 44, 45 years old pitching for the Phillies. He made 33 starts both of those years. Yeah. In 191.1, 196.1 innings. He was throwing like 80. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, Tim Wakefield was also old. I don't, I don't Man. know when he retired, but Tim Wakefield retired. Forty-five-year-old Jamie Moyer went sixteen and seven. <laughs> That's awesome. Thirty-three starts, almost two hundred innings. Ooh, Zach Collins, rookie of the year favorites, auto to fifty for the White Sox. Those knuckleballers can last forever. Though. Yeah, the knuckleballers. Tim Wakefield. He played from twenty-five to forty-four. Yeah. Uh, that's White Sox. That is uh, Jeremy Tillman. I think Phil Negro also played for a while, too. Phil Negro played forever. Yeah. It's like a cheat code, the knuckleball. Phil Negro, his career goes from 1964 to 1987. <laughs> that's, that's 60s, 70s, time, 80s, and almost hit 90s. Almost 90s. And probably mod- with modern like technology and medicine and stuff, he could have oh, could have lasted. I mean, the last year of his career, he <clears throat> I think he pitched... Three innings for the for the Braves. And know? yeah, R.A. Dickey pitched not too long, I think. I think he, he sort of retired, maybe maybe could have played a few, stretched it out a few more years. So. He played to 42, yeah. Yeah. Here's a Remember game. that R.A. Dickey Cy Young year? That was crazy. Oh, yeah. Then they traded him for no Syndergaard, I think. That was yeah, a crazy very, deal. Yeah. People, people were pissed, I remember. I was like, whoa, the Blue Jays just gave up a top prospect for R.A. Dickey, yeah. who was already like 36 or something, yep. I think. 37, 33 starts, career high, 233 innings, 230 strikeouts. He had a sick year, though. 20 and 6? Yeah. He won 20 games. And it came out of nowhere, I think, kind of. Kind of nowhere, yeah. The season before it was eight and thirteen. Yeah. Eleven and nine, one and one with the Twins. He's a journeyman, kind of. Yeah. But they say that the that the, the it knuckleball develops doctors, late. The, that yeah, the knuckleball develops late. There's a gold shimmer auto Connor Cannon, number to fifty, fifty of fifty to be exact. Nice one for the Giants going out to Mark. David Wells played forever. Yeah, he's another one of those guys. Yeah, pitchers are different. Like, pitchers can last for a while. Bartolo Colon wants to come back. Yeah, Colon played for a while. Yeah, still, I think Wells still the highest back. selling Tops Now card is when he hit the home run in yeah, Petco Park. I, I just watched that yesterday. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's like so good. It's one it's of my awesome. favorites. He's, he's the one guy where, like, no one cares he did steroids. Yeah. Because he got popped, and it was like, well, of course. He's Bartolo Colon. Like, I feel bad for the big guy. <laughs> like, of course he needed steroids. <laughs> and there's Dominguez like, the top 100. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, it's like, whatever. He's Bartolo Colon. He can do it. I think, like, CC Sabathia would, would have the same effect. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. The big guy, of course. Yeah. Of course he needed steroids. <laughs> Like, it'd be unfair if he didn't use them. Right, yeah. It's like, poor guy. Let him, let him play the game he loves. Manny Ramirez is attempting to come back. He, wasn't he playing in Japan for a while, right? Manny Ramirez, I don't know. Bobby Witt, paper. He had that one awesome year in, with the Dodgers. He had a pretty good season, actually. He had a good, yeah. He had that good, he had a really good season. But then, like, kind of injuries kind of... Propped up. Yeah. He stopped doing steroids. Kind yeah, of. well. Yeah, I think in like that half season game with the Dodgers. Brian Hayes to 150. He hit almost 400 the rest of the way. Yeah, didn't games. he have an insane amount of home runs? Yeah, too? he had 17 home runs in like yeah. 53 games, which is a lot. Pretty sick rate. But then, yeah, he was having a decent season the next year. Then he got popped for steroids, I think, that year or the year after, and then they let him go. This is a nice one. I haven't seen too many rookie autographs. Dustin May, rookie auto. Oh, nice. And they do the border on these rookie autographs a little differently. It's kind of cool. They have that, like, lines on the edge there versus, like, this. I didn't notice that. I guess we haven't pulled out a rookie autos. Yeah, they're kind of rare in Bowman. So that's Dodgers. That is Robert Thrunk.
Dominguez paper. Do you think Alonzo should have won Rookie of the Year last year over Ballinger? Ballinger? Ballinger had a pretty good year, I thought. He won MVP last year, right? Sorry, MVP. Not, oh, rookie, not rookie of the Year. I mean... I think uh, his average... I'll bet if... I'll bet... I'll bet Yelich got punished for um, for missing like a, that last one. Yeah, no, he said Pete Alonzo, not Yelich. So Pete Alonzo over Bellinger and over Yelich. Steve Pete Alonzo last year should have won the MVP, but he was a rookie. Yeah. I don't think they were going to give that to Pete. Yeah. He had 50 home runs, but it was kind of a... I think he had like a kind of a... St- Bad second half of the season? I don't know. But I mean... But yeah, they would have given it to Bellinger and then Yelich finished Pete second. Alonso, if you look at his war, though, which is more of a broad way to look at it, but his war yeah. last year was 5.5. Boy, Bellinger was 9.1. Yeah. It's like... So so his value, if you want to put it that way, was almost double yeah. Pete Alonso. Yeah, and Dodgers were a playoff team. Yeah. I mean... I think Pete Alonso Be- could Bellinger, have been. Now, Pete Alonso hit 53 home runs and Bellinger hit 47. Yeah. And hit 305. Peter Alonso yeah. hit 260. 260, yeah. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah, if Trout didn't win it as a rookie, nobody will, says Sean. Probably right. Like, Ballinger's OBP is like 50 points higher. Slugging percentage is like 50 points higher. Stole 14 more bases. Probably a better defender than Peter Alonso. Yeah, Lonzo. and he played, yeah, Dodgers playoff team. So What's up, not. Tim Langston? Yeah, we're still going strong. Got about, I don't know, four and a half hours to go here on our 24-hour stream. Might be me for the last few hours. I think Joe's going to pass up pretty soon. He's been here for a while. Oh, God, it's 2? It's starting 2 a.m. Yeah, go. Lucas Giolito to 250? I'll probably be up watching the stream anyway. Yeah, Jason will be live from about 11 to 3. 3 or 4, and then Joe will be on. And then uh, I'll be on after Joe. I'm sure I'll help Joe pack sack and stuff, though. Won't be a 24-hour tomorrow. Probably stream till like midnight, maybe. There's Miguel Vargas, auto. I like how he just signs at Vargas. We're on the same floor, Aaron. Dodgers, that is Robert Throne. Should, should, we, should we have gotten, like, adjoining rooms? <laughs> and get stuck in the door in the middle. Yeah, I think so, too, Jason. O. If Yelich, because Yelich had more stolen bases. I think it would have been really close. A lot closer. I never get this guy's handle. Cespit is family barbecue. Very popular baseball Twitter account. Yeah, I actually heard that guy too. Oscar Gonzalez to four ninety nine. Uh, we have the KBO game on. Looks like uh, Samsung Lions, I think. Yeah, I mean, if Yelich didn't get hurt, the last like what last month or so, he probably would have won. There's Travis Demerit to two fifty. Because he was heating up. Yeah, and Belger kind of had a bad after All Star mm-hmm. game, right? Yeah. Dipped a little bit. Dipped a little bit. Had a really, like, one or two really hot months, I think, that kind of skewed his stats. Aaron asked if you parked your Tesla at the hotel. No. There's uh, Thomas Dillard, auto, for the Brew Crew. Another one for John S. Yeah, we'll do every basketball product this year, uh, Stephen Punk. 
We've done everything. I think every single basketball product, including hoops and Donruss and all that. Anything Zion, people, people will want to chase. We'll get it. But yeah, Chronicles, I think, will be the last basketball product with Zion in it. Maybe Flawless, unless they do it um, sooner. Like, last year's Flawless came out during the 1920 season. It was kind of weird. After Zion products. It was like Luca Rookies. Uh, Dominguez Chrome. But we better not hear any crying from people next year or why basketball isn't selling as well without Zion. <laughs> I don't know, but then all of a sudden you're going to get like a Luka Doncic. That's in there. true. Yeah, Luka Doncic came out of nowhere. Yeah. They were just like, people, I remember people talking about I think people will like it because prices will be cheaper. Yeah, exactly. They'll be like, okay, I can afford to get into basketball and now. still get a Luka, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because yeah, 18, 19 basketball prices were relatively normal, I think. Right. Yeah, for until like Luka started really right, heating right, up. Right, still heating up. But I remember people's, people put, put, Luka Doncic and Darko Milic in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the same time. Well, the, Mavs, like, the Mavs uh, traded up. Yeah, because they were like, oh, could, I mean, could, are we thinking Darko? What do we know about this kid? You Nick know? Madrigal, the 150. <laughs> what do we know about Meanwhile, this kid? Meanwhile, he, like, won a championship. Yeah, with Barcelona. And, like, played against, like, yeah, real dudes. With men, yeah, in Europe. And it's not like they're flying charter jets around Europe. You know what I mean? It's just like. Yeah, it's just like it's crazy. It's like crazy that, that Bagley. Not that they're bad players or will be, and the jury's still out on all these young guys in yeah. basketball. But Aiton number one and Bagley number two is just crazy. With Trey Young and Luka Doncic, yep. or Luka Doncic three, Trey Young four. Are you done with that stack? Because I'm about to tell you about Cespedes. Yeah, Florida. I'm done with this stack. There's a Cuban baseballer on the Oakland A's named Yohannes Cespedes. This is the about on CespedesFamilyBarbecue.com. When he became a free agent in 2011, he released a workout showcase video and sent it to all 30 Major League General Managers. <laughs> the video is the stuff of legends, but what happened at the end of the video turned Cespedes from man into God. Oh my God. He's <laughs> it's a gigantic pig. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But he's he's roasting a he's roasting a I'll drop it in the chat. He's roasting a pig, like a full pig on a spit. All right, I'll see. Enjoy dinner. Yeah, hopefully we get a one on one tonight. I haven't hit a one on one, not even a plate yet. <laughs> Only a man as daring, brave, courageous, and brilliant would send a video of himself roasting a pig over an open flame. So this flame guy liked it so much. To every that major league team. This guy liked it His so much. His voice spicy. Yep. His boisterous spice and bounce in the breeze as his gesticulating gestures provide a feeling of comfort and safety. We just wish we had been invited to that Cespedes family barbecue. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. to 75. D-backs. Chris G. <laughs> That's awesome. So who is, who is the guy announcing then? Is it Jake Mintz or Jordan Schusterman? Those are the know. two founders of Cespedes they just, family barbecue. They introduced him as Cespedes family BBQ. Okay. It's a... Uh, Guy with longer hair, kind of. They're joining the Ringer Podcast Network, by the way. Yeah. I can't wait till we start the Ringer Breaker Network. Oh, yeah. You see how much Joe Rogan got paid? It's a Spotify exclusive. Bobby Wood Jr. How much? So he's getting, in a couple months or whatever, no, he won't be on iTunes, he won't be on um, YouTube. I think he'll have clips on YouTube, but not full podcasts. Right. $100 million a year. $100 million like, a like, year? That's, the, that's How what many they're shows? saying. For like three to four years. He can do, I think he does, does like one, sh one Wait, or two shows. Wait, $100 million a year. a year for three to four years? Yeah. Or so $100 million total? Million total. $400 million total for... And then he gets to keep it all his IP after, too. Like, he owns his own IP. It's just the exclusive rights to host it. So Spotify will have the videos plus the podcast. That's what they've said. Oh hundred million God. a year. It's crazy. How many shows a year will he do? Hunter Bishop to four ninety nine. I think he can do however many he wants. Well, no, he, he can't. What if he says I'm going to do one show? Like some, not, they some, must have a minimum. There's there's probably a minimum, but I think he does like two or three a week maybe. What is he? What's his rate now? Well, he's just he owns his own stuff. I know, but what is he, how many podcasts does he do? Like, I think two or three a week. A week? Yeah. So they're, they're probably expecting that same clip. They go like clip. three hours. They're probably expecting that same clip, right? Joe sounds so mad. 
Well, it's crazy money well, for a podcast. It's crazy money, but... But so, he drives it all Spotify, that Spotify is saying that, to that, that you're going to get enough new subscribers off of that joke. Well, they're saying it's like the new streaming wars. Is the new, it's the new podcast wars. Because Spotify also bought The Ringer, too. For like $400 million. They, yeah, that I remember, yeah. So they're trying to... Now Apple uh, is like bidding on some of the top podcasts. Right. So it's they're like saying in the long run, they're going to produce enough content where you're going to have to subscribe to it yeah. and they'll make, a, make up the money for it. It's crazy. I'm not sure whatever year. advertising they get. 100 million a year and you get a, you know... Well, I'll bet it's mostly advertising too, right? Because... Yeah, I'm sure they get, get the advertising. Get cut, cut but the to, advertising. My, to my knowledge, it's just to have the exclusive streaming rights. He still owns his own company. Right. But so he getting, might they have to be getting ad they, I would imagine they get that. Every, or time, it's Bill, just, every time Bill Simmons says zip recruiter, blah, 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 blah. Well, the the ringer one might be different than this. Oh, than, okay. Then every Joe time Rogan. Joe Rogan says, you know, yeah. whatever, CBD, this and that. It's crazy, though. 100 That's million. Wild. Years. To a few hours. I mean, you can't. I doubt he doesn't really prepare for his podcast either, I don't think. Too much. You know, it's kind of just off the cuff stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, though. Well, then, I mean, I'll sell Jaspies for $50 million. Yeah, Howard Stern got a huge deal, too, with Sirius. It's like the Howard Stern deal, but yeah, it's only a few years, I think. Uh, Dominguez Paper? It's so short, too. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is kind of weird. But yeah, I mean... And I think there's going to be clips on YouTube to promote it, but full episodes only wow. on Spotify. So I guess they're thinking it's going to add, you know... Mil- it'd have to add a million subscribers to make it worth it, I'd imagine. How much is Spotify a month? Isn't it like $10, $9? There's Paulson. Yeah, ten bucks a month. Yeah. But I think it's just they have so much money they just gotta start throwing it around, I guess. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, he is like pretty much probably the number one podcaster other than like NPR podcasts and like news right, and stuff. Right. Yeah, no, you're right. So probably more than those guys too. Yeah. So it's it's crazy. Yeah, I guess the hardcore, if you have like millions uh, Here's of the that. schedule, Watts. Next one to break is Random Team 3, Jumbo. Haven't hit a single redemption. Haven't seen any redemptions. Uh, Miguel Vargas, one of, one of one of 499. Yeah, I guess if you're... You bring like millions of your followers over. Yeah. And it must be like, uh, it's probably a very strong demographic. Yeah, Jeff exactly. McNeil. Yeah, it's good for advertising too. Well, yeah, we'll, 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 send, we'll sell case breaking to... Exclusive, exclusive on this yeah. Spotify. To Spotify, sure. Spotify's throwing money around like that. There's Aaron Judge, the 499. Netflix is throwing around money, we'll get that Netflix money. That'd be awesome. We should have our own Netflix show. Right, we get so we get the... We'll get that Netflix money, then we'll sell the exclusives to Spotify. The Mailman episode would have been a top. The one. Mailman episode would have been a top. One. And like, and like before commercial, everyone's just like this, like, you know, like Mouth you know how they do the like coming up next on Pawn Stars. It's like what? And just a bunch of bling bling. Yeah. Ooh, we got something big. Red Shimmer, isn't that out of five? Should be. It's auto, too. Whoa. It's Miguel Vargas, three Woo-hoo. of five, red shimmer for the Dodgers. Robert nice. Throne, very nice one. Pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, I haven't seen any redemptions in this stuff. Tops. Good job, Tops. Tops has said that they're trying to get to a place where they have zero redemptions. So. On point. Pretty good. There's purple Ronaldo Hernandez. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. So that's like baseball, probably my official last break of today. Can get that done in like 15 minutes. But yeah, that that won't be coming up for another four hours or so. So sit tight if you're here for that. Coming up next, Bowman Jumbo Random Teams. Then we got a couple Bowman Mixers. And that's select. I think I'll be able to kill that those Bowman Mixers around an hour or so. We'll see. There's Oscar Gonzalez to 125. Yusai Kikuchi to four ninety nine. Looks like a box and a half still to go. You can see on the top cam. And we'll do a recap. Then we'll do the break credit giveaway. Atomic Auto Tariq Schoolball. Tariq Schoolball. Nice one there for the Detroit Tigers. That's going out to Mike Samich. What do you mean, no base? I don't, I don't get what you mean, Watts. And Mario Feliciano, auto oh, Mario. Oh, Mario. What does he say? What's it? <laughs> That's a nice card right there. Golly. This is like the fourth or fifth auto for John with the Brew Crew. Kind of a weak auto, a lot of streakiness. Must have been one of the last ones on the run. That pen. What up, Mario? The one of one Zion Williamson. Golly, that's a nice card right there. And then he just goes on to the next. People are like, can you show that again? He's just like, all right, next we got a Jalen Noel relic auto. <laughs> Garrett Culver rookie card. Oh, you want no base in Bowman Watts? I'll be honest, I don't hate that. <laughs> As a breaker, we wouldn't have to do 24-hour streams. No, freaking Jason Dominguez and Bobby Wood Jr. and Robert Pawson screwing us up. Yeah. Because we can just fly through the paper usually. You don't have to think about it. But just don't even put paper in there. Just give us uh, the chrome. I mean, do we? I mean, I could use a little paper. Do we need that much paper? Yeah. Just make it Bowman Hybrid. <laughs> Choice. <laughs> I'm out. All right. I scrounged See up another mañana. monster box and a couple shoe boxes here for you. Thank you. I don't know if you're going to need more, but I think there's more behind the bar. I don't know. I might never stop breaking. I might be breaking until Jason gets here. <laughs> to 150, Seth Beer. I'll probably be in the channel for a little bit. Okay. See ya. Peace. You have keys, right? I'm locking the door. I think so. I don't know where they are, though. If you don't have to break them. Joey Cantillo to base auto. Yeah, Bowman Hybrid Choice Team All Edition. That'd be so perfect. Uh, Padres, that's going out to Jeffrey Goldberg. So just me, man in the fort for the next few hours here. Thanks, everybody. For, I didn't think uh, I didn't think we'd have this many cases of Bowman to do because for a while there we were nervous that we wouldn't get our full uh, 
skid of cases, but we ended up getting enough for uh, this 24-hour stream and probably some tomorrow. Try to get some posted before Jason goes live. And I might pass out till like 2 or 3 p.m. probably. Eric Rivera auto to 499 Yeah, I mean, we were selling these box Like, if you added up all the teams, we were selling this for below what it's going for, yeah. But yeah, if we want to buy more and already some of our uh, cases that we've gotten in the mail have gone up in price, definitely. I mean, the same goes for Mosaic, all, all the recent products lately. A lot of people breaking it, a lot of shops selling it, a lot of people opening it. Just a very, uh, I would say low supply, but not a huge supply and uh, very high demand right now. You know, some years in the hobby will be low demand for rookies. 2013 football, there's a, not a lot of demand for it. But the last, uh, you know, since ever since then, it's been pretty hot. There's a couple years of baseball, maybe like 2016 baseball wasn't the greatest. Maybe like 2016 basketball too. But yeah, just the ebbs and flows of it. It's a very volatile, crazy ride. Uh, Aramis Aidman to four ninety nine. Yeah, I guess they do it. They do choice uh, HGA choice for Bowman Chrome. They do the three autos per box, no other cards. Here's a nice one, Speckle Auto of Lenti Delgado to two ninety nine, going out to Jeremy Tillman. But yeah, Bowman is usually we just do on releases like the first two weeks and then we usually don't get a ton more. Sometimes do. We use a lot in like mixers and stuff also. But June's going to be really busy too. A lot of new releases in June. Since pretty much the whole month of uh, April... And half of May, there wasn't any new releases coming out because of COVID. So they pushed a lot of it to June. So there's going to be a lot of stuff in June. Gibbs. There's purple Helio Ramos to 250. All right. A little bit of this stack to go, and then one full stack, usually about half a box there to go. This is all paper. Yeah, coming up next is the Bowman pack filler break that filled up the Bowman mixer. Yeah, I got the paper. Um, that filled up the Bowman Mixer 2. And then Bowman Mixer 3 actually sold out straight up. I'll be doing that. And then I'll also be doing Select Baseball probably. Be my last break. Nothing else will go with me. But Jace will be on at 11 a.m. Pacific. So already, you know, only a few hours after I head off air for today. And then Joe will be back um, later today. Saturday and then uh, I'll probably be on to like from like 9 to midnight maybe do a, maybe two Bowman cases and then Jason's Jason's show on Sunday we'll uh, get sorting on this Bowman there's Grant Little Padres that's going out to Jeffrey Goldberg do a recap after this 
Nice red auto in this case. And nice stuff so far. Still looking for the Super Fractor, though. Purple, Christian Pache to 250. Braves. Got this, uh, this stick in here. Yeah, another, I haven't hit Dominguez Auto. I, everyone else in the store has hit one. Bobby Witt, base. Jason hit one. Joe hit one. Uh, Teddy hit one. I didn't hit any so far. So I need to cross off that off my Bowman bucket list for 2020, definitely. A Dominguez Auto. Do we have one more auto? Yeah, he had a base auto. I think that might have been a random team. Adam Hall, base auto for the Orioles. That is EA. Yeah, he hit one, and then Jason also hit a... Dominguez base auto. And that is the break. Thanks everybody for getting in. I'll do a recap here in actually right now. I don't need to pause the video. Got everything pulled already. That was shown. This is paper. All right, so this is some of the autographs, the non-auto stuff as well. And we had a bunch of other non-auto stuff too, but just the notables. Vaughn, Marlon, Day, Ashby, first screwball, there's Omar Estevez, a couple duplicates in this case too. Xavier Edwards at 299, Adam Hall, Grant Little, Delgado, Scooball Atomic. Probably the biggest hit in this case, Vargas, 3 of 5, Dodgers Auto. Zach Hess, I'd imagine it's the biggest hit. Vargas Base Auto, 2. Dustin May was a nice one. Dodgers had a great break. Uh, Connor Cannon to 50, Zach Collins to 50, Raymer to 150, Kellenic. So pretty nice stuff. Atomic of uh, Encarnacion was nice too. It's 100. And a bunch of other stuff. Some more Wit, some more uh, Passons, some more Dominguez's uh, non autos, and some other non auto color. Uh, so thanks everybody for getting in. That was uh, Jumbo number five.